Hello, welcome. I'm going to play Snafu on the Intellivision, released in October 1981 by Mattel Electronics. So, from the title screen, what you hit here determines the speed of the game. The disc will be fastest, one will be medium fast, and then so on down, or as you, the numbers increase on the numpad, you'll get slower. So I'm going to go with uh, go the medium to start. And this game has two basic modes and then a lot of variations. Mode 1 is for 2-4 to four snakes. I should point out this game is controlling snakes on a fixed screen and just trying to block each other. At least that the first mode is. The second mode is trying to bite another snake's tail. That mode is only for two player. I'll show it anyway, but it's meant for two people. The other snake will end up, depending on the movement type, will end up probably eating its own tail because you can injure yourself. So I'm going to go with four snakes here. I'll just go with the, the first game variation, which will be, so the variations are movement type, which is either horizontal and vertical or horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. Number of trails, which means number of snakes, basically two to four. And what happens to the trails after the snake dies, whether they remain on screen, which will continue to block the other snakes, or disappear completely, which could save snakes that are near death, or just open up a lot more of the screen to play on. And then obstacles, which are just you know, random objects around the screen to get in your way. I'm going to be the blue snake, which is controller 2. Controller 1 is the red. It'll auto on this mode, it just will automatically go. In fact, I can not even play if I want as well, because if you don't touch the controller, either one, it'll just auto-play. Okay, those two are going to crash into each other. I just block them in. And then since they disappear, I have a lot more room, but the yellow snake trapped itself in its own tail or trail. So, I got this one one. You've probably seen games like this if you haven't played this one. This itself, Mattel, well, the Intelligent Lives site says Mattel is, I guess, inspired by the game Blockade. Which is originally a board game, and then an arcade game, I believe, for this mode, and then for the Tails mode. Apparently, Mattel was developing or did develop an LED uh, type of handheld game, but never released it. Alright, so I won that rather easily. Game's not hard, <laughs> it helps to have a second player. This one, you might notice some blurriness, like lines or duplicate images. I think it's the cartridge, unless it's always like this. It's not as obvious in other games, but yeah, it's not looking so great. Alright, I'm going to add diagonal movement here, and obstacles, and snake trails to remain. So, let's see. Version 14... Thing. No, <laughs> so you just run straight into each other. That was dumb. Diagonal makes things really tricky. Ugh, oh, I was trying to go between them. You can go between the diagonal slots. It's tricky with the controller. I was trying to talk about variations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, diagonal makes it much harder. There's a game on Atari 2600 called Snake. In fact, Mike Minkoff, the programmer of this, wanted to call this game Snakes, with a bunch of S's. Let me do fastest. And basically everything with obstacles and tails. Trails disappear. If the blue and red go out first, the other two snakes will go really fast, just so you don't have to wait. It looks much cooler, too. I'll just let them go on their own. 
Okay, I was saying there's a ton of variations of this type of game on mobile devices these days. Ah, oh, too bad that guy eliminated himself to briefly see the speed burst. And the developer wanted to call, like I said, wanted to call snakes, but it was marketing that changed it to snafu. Which is a military acronym. I won't repeat. <laughs> you can substitute the F word, as the Intellivision Live Strike does. It basically means situation normal, all fouled up, but yeah. <coughs> the military basically says something else for F. As you can tell these games don't last too long. But player one is just gonna go on its own. The objective is to bite that end there on the tail. If you don't bite it fast enough, it will keep growing. The computer, well, player one, can bite its own, well, I can bite my own tail too, but sometimes depending on how it bounces. If you don't have a vertical horizontal movement, it would probably just keep bouncing off the wall and biting its own tail. But it can do that diagonally too. You can't crash into each other. You just, all you do is bite the tail. This game uses what's called colored squares mode. And that's an Intellivision thing. And this is the only released game that uses it. Now, I mean, I am not knowledgeable about this technical stuff, but Intellivision has three modes, apparently, graphics modes, and colored squares, I guess the most limiting one, this game's so basic, the whole game, you can tell, it's just colored squares, which is, I guess, the main thing, which is all it is, is this it doesn't need to be too much. This is the only released game that uses it. There were two other games that didn't get released. Alright, Red Snake is almost gone. Probably end it after this, because obviously there's not a lot to see with this game. It'd be fun with two players. It'd be great with four, but of course, the system always forces two players. Just trying to catch this little tiny thing. <laughs> there we go. Got him. Alright, well, that was Snafu. Ready to television? Thanks for watching.